is creating conflict. This is creating an us versus them atmosphere, and then you will lose your allies. My name is Karim Nagy, and I am an Egyptian and Muslim immigrant to the United States. And for over two decades, I have been performing and teaching Arab music and dance to schools for children, in universities, and also in festivals. And between the dooms and decks, decorate, uh, make ornaments using the fingers, yet keeping the structure of the wahda rhythm. Now in Egypt, the J sound becomes a hard G, so we would call this instrument in Egypt sagat, sagat, okay? And you have the different sounds based on how you hit them. And so this is a drum that's great for line dancing like Debki, Raqsa Saya, the Egyptian stick dance, or uh, processional dances that you'll see in Algeria or Morocco. So we can do a couple of rhythms. Let's do the Southern Egyptian Saidi rhythm. So we have <clears throat> Yemen, Oman, Qatar, Bahrain, Kuwait, the United Arab Emirates. But well, let's do this instrument first, okay? Nice thick pen. Rek, rek. What do you think the difference would be in the sounds between these two riks, okay? Just let people under 10 years old answer. What do you think would be the difference in the sounds between the rik? Well, this one reflects. What do you think? Would they sound the same? Well, in Arabic music, we have something in between for all of those difficult to feel emotions or more vast feeling and emotions. How about this? Right here in the middle. So instead of or, we have this one called rust. Let's try singing Mary Had a Little Lamb the Arabic way. <clears throat> Mary had a little lamb, little lamb, little lamb. Thank you, everybody. Thank you. the moods of people listening. The bright and uplifting mood of rust. The darker, heavier mood of Beati. Those are scales, maqamat. Vilified people, marginalized people here in the United States can use the performing arts to advocate for themselves, to break down stereotypes, and to take back the narrative. So this is the idea that I would like to distribute. Music and dance are for diplomacy and disruption. We can use them to create a dialogue among people who are unfamiliar and perhaps afraid of each other but we can also use it 
for the disruption of a monologue by people who are trying to defame or dehumanize you.